So I thought I'd take you guys on a little tour and do a little investigation. For many years, my husband has owned a med spa. He's a plastic surgeon here in the town I live in. And I've been around it a lot and I, I certainly kind of know what goes on and I, I come in for facials and they have actually changed my skin by doing that, by changing the products I was using and these different things. But I realized there's so many other things going on here and um, people who know me that know that I have this connection ask me questions all the time about this product or that product or this problem with their face or this problem with their skin. And I think they think because we share a pillow, I'm going to actually know the answers to these questions, which I don't. So I thought what might be really a fun little journey for me and for you is to investigate all the different services that they have here at Skin Deep Laser Med Spa because there are so many. I mean, really, I don't even know. So I may even get the brochure out and go line by line and investigate each one of these machines. Maybe I'll strap everything on and and uh, and and let you know how it feels and uh, uh, what I expect to get out of it. So I just thought it'd be fun to um, take a journey through Skin Deep Laser Med Spa. So I'm here with Michelle and um, one of our best, best estheticians here at Skin Deep. And we're going to talk about um, analyzing your face when you come in for a facial, which is not just a facial, but really getting you on a path to good skin care. And Hi, Michelle. Hello. Um, I know for myself, I often just, well, either I would go to the department store and I would buy too many things that people talked me into and would get a horrible rash and have spent way too much money, or I would go all the way as far as using drugstore products that my, my skin just never looked that great. It was always kind of rashy, and I know my daughter, I think you saw my daughter, and she had that. Her whole forehead was always rashy, and you guys put her on some fabulous products, and her face is just glowing now. And um, I think for myself, too, once I started, it's funny, in my 30s, I think I went for facials all the time. Now that I'm in 20 years past that, I don't go that often, and I wonder why, and it's, um, it makes such a difference. Mm -hmm. And, man, you walk out, you're so hydrated, and you feel great. And, but I've really found that using the right products for my particular kind of face and my issues, um, it just everything's so much better. So, that being said, why don't you tell me what you would do if I just came in as a new client, what, what your procedure is. Okay. Okay. So basically what you said is perfect. It's finding the right combination of ingredients for your particular skin type. And when you come to us, we can really treat you as an individual and customize a treatment plan, including products for home care that will benefit you and any needs for your skin. So I'm going to go ahead and cover your eyes. And as a new client, I would go ahead and do a little bit of a consultation where I'm going to take a look at your skin. And with your skin, are you normally feeling a little bit towards the drier side? Yes. Okay, and I can see just a little bit of dehydration on the surface, so mm -hmm. we would want to incorporate maybe lots of hyaluronic acid and squalene, which are moisture-binding ingredients to bring water to the surface layers. Mm -hmm. And the most important ingredients overall for anti-aging, which most people, that's their main concern, preventative care as well mm -hmm. as correction. We could use topical vitamins. Mm -hmm. So when we are analyzing your skin, we can see, you know, with the dehydration, we would focus on moisture, but at the same time, we may want to do some exfoliation, remove dead skin mm -hmm. to help these products to work even better. They're going to penetrate deeper into the skin where they're needed. Mm -hmm. I have a job where I wear, you know, makeup and it's powdered and, you know, it's just, I mean, it's, it's it, I'm, you know, it's a lot of that. So I feel like it dries my skin out. My skin soaks up everything. And so what you're saying makes complete sense. Yes. When you start to get that little bit of buildup in the skin mm -hmm. that can come from cosmetics and other products, mm -hmm. we want to get that removed on a regular basis. That way everything you're putting on is going to penetrate its best and help mm -hmm. to really, um, correct and, and transform that newer skin underneath. Mm -hmm. So we want to polish and, and boost with certain ingredients to really make it work its best. Mm -hmm. Don't you think also, I mean, I, I taught this to my daughter and I've talked about this in blogs and different things that keeping your face clean, like making sure you take your makeup off every night and cleans, cleansing your face and moisturizing before you go to bed is so important. And I, I know a lot of people who don't and they have all their mascara kicked on and et cetera, et cetera. 
that don't you think that's super important? Absolutely, and that's the one thing I tell my clients is the most important thing, other than wearing your sun protection daily, is removing your makeup at night because mm -hmm. that is what's going to age our skin even faster. Mm -hmm. And anything that's sitting on the skin is going to clog the pores and give the skin a dullness. So mm -hmm. we want to make sure we're removing everything mm -hmm. daily and even doing two cleanses in the evening, one to remove the makeup, one to actually cleanse and nourish the mm -hmm. skin. Well, I find sometimes too, if, it's, if I've had a lot of makeup on that day, I either use my grandma's method of a clean washcloth with my cleanser or uh, a brush or a, I can't remember the name of that electric one, but like I have... Like the Clarisonics. Right, I have mm -hmm. used that, but I just, now I just have like a little brush. But I just find that just going like this isn't going to be enough to get my makeup off. I really need to kind of get into a, you know, clean like this sort of thing. Absolutely, and the brushes are great, you know, maybe not to use every day, especially for someone that has sensitive or drier skin, maybe mm -hmm. every other day or every few days, but you don't need, you know, necessarily the, the stronger, you know, ones that... Um, or electronic, you can use the manual brushes yourself or even just a good washcloth to really mm -hmm. help with the cleansing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Most mm -hmm. important, if you're going to use one product on your skin, one product only, it should be a good physical sunblock, something with zinc oxide or titanium, which is really going to uh, keep the uh, sun from penetrating into mm -hmm. the skin and give you the best protection possible. Interesting. Oh, Let me remove some greens. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, if you have a young girl that comes in who has acne, I know this is such a problem, and I know, I mean, up until, geez, I was in my early 50s, wackily, because hormones are everything, right? Um, I was still pimples and wrinkles, and I thought, oh my gosh, something needs to give. But um, when someone has a, like a big uh, pimple problem, what do you usually, what do you usually do for them? I would recommend using products that are antibacterial. So we do have products mm -hmm. that have ingredients like salicylic acid to help degrease the skin, help to kill bacteria, benzoyl peroxide, which will really help to get into the pores, um, deliver oxygen to kill bacteria. We do have um, anti-acne treatments that we can use in addition to home care products, but the key ingredients for reducing the bacteria would be the salicylic, the benzoyl, glycolic acid, mm -hmm. um, and getting onto a good routine of using those at home in addition to having cleansing facials can be really effective. And how often would you recommend that a young person with that situation situation come in for facials? For a true acne skin, I would recommend initially every two weeks to really get things under control and then space it out to maybe every three to four weeks to get mm -hmm. the best results and really mm -hmm. helping to manage the symptoms and as it improves, then extending that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, so for older skin, I'm going to jump now, you know, 20 years mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, don't you think, I mean I, I mean, I find when I come in, one, it's so relaxing, and we all are running around like crazy people, so it's so fabulous to come in and just take a breath. I, I, you know, you lay down the table, the lights are out, the candle burning, I, I think, oh, now I should do this more often. But, um, but it also has more benefits than just relaxation, right? Absolutely. You know, getting circulation going is going to help with mm -hmm. collagen, and that's going to help with lines and pores and wrinkles. So, you know, especially for someone who's already seeing aging in their skin, you know, getting onto a good regimen of mm -hmm. incorporating the topical vitamins, which is going to help to restructure the skin and help mm -hmm. to build that collagen mm -hmm. is so important. So there's the relaxation benefit, but also the anti-aging benefit to really get um, the skin working its best. Mm -hmm. I know when I've, I have a few friends who, who really, really, I only come in here a lot and they really take such good care of their skin. And when I see them at lunch or I'll see them at a dinner party or something, I just think, oh my gosh, you got, you look so fabulous. And it, it's because they almost look kind of plump, like they're dewy mm -hmm. and full. And it's like, you could tell that they, you actually, you know what you can tell that they take good care of their skin. Absolutely, it does show, and it I does think show. a key to that is exfoliation too. Getting oh, that really? dead skin removed will give you that natural glow, but also using products, for instance, like the Hydra Silk that you use. Oh, that's my that favorite. Has that I'm, I'm so in love with that. And then, and my son stops by, you know, and maybe he's gone for a swim, and he showers, and he's like, like this with it in the <laughs> bathroom. Like, oh no, it's it's my gold. Just it one is squirt. liquid gold. <laughs> yeah, it is really amazing. It's the most amazing product. I mean, I could really use my gentle cleanser and that product, and I can really get away with nothing else. I mean, you know, then a little, um, the sunblock, but it's amazing how fabulous it is. Absolutely, the key ingredients, the hyaluronic, the squalene, those are what really help to boost the barrier of the skin, and so it's going to help to keep hydration in, help to prevent moisture loss, which does cause our skin to age faster and look older than right. it should. Right. Plus we shall drink a lot of water. Absolutely, that definitely right. helps, absolutely. Right. Hydrate inside and out. Yes. Okay, let's go talk about some products. Okay, great. Um, you know what I love is, this is my favorite. 
And I even have, uh, what's, what's the name of it? Sorry, the I don't have my glasses on, I can't tell you. The Gentle Skin Cleanser from our High Med and Hylunia line. So this is a medical grade organic skincare line. So it's only sold in doctor's offices. So great. Uh, even the one that's um, for acne or oilier skin? This would be more for the normal to oilier, acne prone, the facial cleanser, which has the hydroxy acids for exfoliation, whereas the Gentle has no hydroxy acids. This is for all skin types, especially dry, sensitive, but even acne prone can use that too, so it's not too dry. Exactly. Where's my favorite? This is my favorite thing. So the Hydrosome this is my here. Favorite. This is our squalene based hydrating serum. It's a little oil based, will not clog the pores. Great for all skin types, but especially people that are dry to more mature skin. Um, but even acne prone skin can use this in small amounts for dry patches. Yeah. It's interesting about this product because it feels uh, almost like a little petroleum or a little oil or something. And the first time, because I used to break out, and the first time I used it, I thought, oh, I don't know. Oh, it's gonna make me break out. I want to do it, and I did it, and you, 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 it was amazing. And I was just at a spa for my sister's birthday, and um, where you got massages and this whole thing. And we were in the place, you know, doing our bow drawing, and I gave her some, and she's like, "Oh, geez, oh." And that's I think all of our first thought is oil is gonna make me break out. Right. And then afterwards, she was kind of looking for a towel to wipe it off. And I go, "No, just rub it in. It just disappears. It'll just absorb." And it's right fabulous. In. And as I told you earlier, my 23-year-old loves it too. Like it is an amazing product. Like for me, a lay person, I don't even know what's in it, but it's my favorite thing on the whole planet. And um, so I use those two, and then I use a sunblock, which is the sunblock. Um, so we have yes. our Elta MD sunblock products. So we have um, all. Uh, transparent zinc oxide and some of them do include the titanium dioxide so for a sensitive skin we do have some uh, with no chemicals so it's going to be chemical free more of a mineral based sunblock but these are good for all skin types we have the UV clear which is especially good for acne prone skin um, skin that has sun discoloration, rosacea, is anti-inflammatory, but they all completely block the sun from penetrating because they have that zinc oxide, titanium dioxide physical blockers mm -hmm. in them. Which is so great for Southern California. Absolutely. And the difference too, and I'm, I'm kind of doing this with my food lately, is reading the labels. And you know, you go to the regular pharmacy or CVS, whatever it is, and so much junk in everything. So it's nice to see that these products are are not like that. Very clean ingredients, a lot less filler than what you might find over the counter and that does make a difference because th those things over time that build up in the skin can actually cause irritation or inflammation. Now I know all these things in here are your favorites so yes. I mean I've just zeroed on on my couple things but what, why don't you just kind of tell us what your different things are here because there's just so many things to choose from. We have lots of great lines. All of our lines are medical grade. Um, you can only find them in a doctor's office med spa setting. We have Skin Medica, which is very popular. Um, they have some of the amazing human growth factor products here, the TNS Recovery, the TNS Essential Serum, that actually have uh, human-derived growth factors to help boost collagen and help with wow. anti-aging to strengthen wow. I have to add a new skin. one to my uh, <laughs> regimen. And that can be incorporated mm -hmm. with any other product, too, mm -hmm. which is great. So it's a serum that you put on underneath? You would put this first. It's a serum that's very active, and then you would layer on top your moisturizing products, your sunblocks, but you can also integrate them you know, with other retinoid type products or skin brightening products. But this, because it's the most active, would always be applied first. Mm -hmm. We have our Skin Deep line here, which is also all medical grade, pharmaceutical grade ingredients. Um, this is more of our specialty products for specific skin conditions and concerns. One of my favorite are the weekly mini peel pads, which is a once a week treatment to help remove dead skin, help with skin brightening, anti-aging, lines, pores, wrinkles. Is that the one that's rough on one side? It does have a little oh, exfoliation. I have you Used it. That is a really, really cool thing. It's almost like, uh, remember the old-fashioned Stridex pads exactly. they had a thousand years ago? But, I mean, obviously it's not chemical junk like that, but the one side of the pad is um, rough. Mm -hmm. So it's it's an incredible. I was just love that yeah, dead I love skin that. off. Mm -hmm. And then a companion product, very similar to the Hydra Silk, is the Collagen Peptide Serum, which is actually more of a water base with the hyaluronic in there. So that is also called a filler in the bottle. It's a great companion product for injectables like Botox and filler because the peptides actually help to relax the facial muscles as well. Mm -hmm. And for someone that might feel that they don't want an oil-based product, although most people can use that, this is for also all skin types too. And you said you could put this underneath your Hydra Absolutely. Silk? Absolutely. To get the additional peptides in there for anti-aging, you could layer that 
matte first and for a drier skin add the hydro silk on top for moisture. Mm -hmm. wow. And then we have our whole PCA skincare line here. I use a great um, scrub thing from here from this. They company. have their gentle exfoliant, That's the one. which is very mild, great I like for all that. skin types. You can even mix it with a little bit of cleanser, do a power cleanse. I just keep that in my shower and do it. I have a little steam and That's then do perfect. that. Mm -hmm. And just gently kind of massage it in for a minute or so, rinse it, and that really helps your products afterwards to penetrate better. They have a variety of serums that are real specific um, for different skin conditions. That's why we need you. That's why you need an experienced yes. person that can tell you which exactly. of these products is right for you. Right. So we can have you come in and we can do a skincare consultation or if you're not nearby we can you know talk with you. We can send products to you um, if you're not able to to come in and have so the you'll consultation. So you'll send products out. Absolutely. Oh that's really great Absolutely. to know. Mm -hmm. We have some of our Jamarini skincare products. Um, also for specific skin conditions, we have um, great acne products, great anti-aging moisturizers. We have products specifically for rosacea and re relieving redness in That's the skin. That's a big deal, right? A lot of people a have that. A lot of people have rosacea, so it's a great product for that. Mm -hmm. I have actually a girlfriend that has I have to take a bottle of that. Okay, that's great. This is we'll also from our Skin Medica, and this mm -hmm. is the HA5, which has five different forms of the hyaluronic. So for moisture um, binding and, and bringing that water to the surface, this is one of the best products out there, and you can actually use that in combination with the growth uh, factors or with the retinol type products for moisturizing. Really good to help uh, plump up fine lines and wrinkles in the skin. And do you use that at night or during the day? You can or? use it morning or evening. Um, mm -hmm. You will get the best results if you're using it twice a day, especially for a drier skin. Mm -hmm. And you put most of these kind of serums or these kind of things, you put it under your moisturizer or whatever exactly. before you Exactly. Your start. boosters will always go first and then seal everything in with your moisturizer. Such great information. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. Thank you for telling nice us to everything. See you. Great.